entirely change of plans as you can tell the further we're chasing craters the further where we're getting from Birch Creek and I really want to get to Birch Creek and check this out it's all part of the Hawaii River and the canyons look at that See the yellow bird there? Oh. All part of the Hawaii canyons. The river where we were up we we're up river. We're down river now from last night. So now we just gotta snake down through there about five miles to the river to Birch Creek. Check this out. Beautiful canyon lands. The craters were over there. Gorgeous. Snake down this road. We still got some time. So beautiful. Just look at that. Oh, why don't you look at that? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, he's pulling. Oh, he's got rafts. We're rafting. That's where it is. So we're gonna pull over somewhere. Where are we gonna pull over? He needs his whole space for those fucking rafts. Right, so we're just gonna chill here. And he's coming up. So it's actually three rigs. Suburban, and then the truck with the raft, and then the about four or five rafts, four rafts high, I guess. And then another rig behind him. This would have been a better spot to, for me to pull over, but shit, I don't know. Taking in these spectacular canyon views. Okay. A lot of switchbacks. to cover too so alright so here's the hillside and right down there is the see that's the edge see the other road we gotta get down there Oh, Lorena, where are you? She would hate this drive because she'll be sitting in the, the passenger seat right on the cliff. She gets white knuckles. it on the way down. Oh, look at this stuff. Holy smokes. This is incredible. Look at that. Um, this is like, this was like driving through Leslie Scotch, huh? And the Hawaii's are just fascinating. These canyon lands. And I got so much footage. Incredible. Oops, you did see. Stop because I didn't want to hit that rock too hard. Where am I? Can I zoom? Oh, there we go. Water crossing. <laughs> I can see the bottom. How we doing? <laughs> the cattle. 
four streams. Water crossing. That, that bench right there, that's what we saw from the top and all these rock formations. So beautiful. This is incredible. It's just incredible. Weather coming. Hold on. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. these like green green sagebrush <laughs> there you go green sagebrush and grass against the red rocks wow that is spectacular No, so far I've been lucky to be stopping going like this and nobody behind me and nobody in front of me. So I don't hold up traffic because not everybody likes to do what I do. You know, get out and take pictures, but I've been so incredibly lucky that I'm not holding up traffic when I do it.
even in low gear is fast. I would love to do a lift and add four wheel drive to it. Maybe get it to W, get it in a lower gear. Excuse me. Water crossing. see that on a big dip. I was more fascinated with that damn sand rock. Oh here's another one that was yeah. Anyhow. Look at those roads just turned to like mustard color, huh? What that sign says? Oh no shooting. <laughs> wow. Look at the road just goes down there. But look at the river. Oh, this is incredible. Hold on, I wonder if I can back up here and get a picture. Put it on the side or something like that. Do 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 do. Yeah. We're gonna go over there. Okay. Yeah, crazy backing up. Alright. Go here by the side. Emergency brakes on too. All right, let's jump out. Take pictures. Lovely. Wow, this is incredible. What a view with the river and that thing. Look at that. That thing is so painted. Whew. You can't even see the road is disappearing on the other side. <laughs> what? Look at those red flowers. I've never seen those before. <laughs> look at these things. Wow, look at these things. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Almost look like one of those fire flowers, fire sticks, whatever. I mean, I use them, they're really cool. Look at that. Oh, got sidetracked. Look at those flowers. There's Libby. That is so cool. More of those red flowers, too. Did not see them from the road.
just overflows down the road, huh? <laughs> wow. Well, I guess it's settled somewhere down here. Here's another one. Speed five miles. Oh, I thought it said five more miles to go. I'm like, what? This water is clear, clear. Must be a good spring around here. Birch Creek Historic Ranch. There she is, Birch Creek. Area under electronic surveillance. Wow. Okay. So you got a satellite out here? <laughs> oh yeah, well look. Satellite dish. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. This is cool. Fire hose connection. This is this is incredible. Generator and all. What the hell? Birch Creek Historic Ranch. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Wonder who homesteaded it down here. Maybe there's a write up. There's another one. This is incredible, huh? This is cool. Look at that. What do we got over here? Are we, what? They got 20 foot containers down here? How the hell did they get 20 foot containers down through that road? Man, there was only one way. And what does this sign say? Look at that. Let's get out and check it out. Let's park down here somewhere. This is so cool. Wow. This is incredible. I think we got some more rain coming in too. I wonder where this guy is. Let's start from up here. Outhouse, got a padlock on it, huh? picnic table it's all boarded up too bad it wasn't a write-up information board or something flagpole assuming this is where they kept their animals their horses or their cattle Oh, 
this is cool, huh? What a spread down here. And you gotta give it up to these early pioneers. I mean, all this is modern stuff now, but look at this. This is cool, huh? Wow. What a view to wake up to every day. Fence line and the rocks. Rock wall goes all the way over there. Must be for property line, huh? That's cool. There's the birch ranch over there. I thought we were down river, but I guess we're up river. The river flowing north. And here's that painted hill that I like. That's awesome there. Look at that, that's incredible, huh? be a, a waterway sign so we've got a road going down through here it doesn't say private or anything gates open but I don't know how it's been traveled on I think it is on the map but I'm sure so let's go back to the car and get some lunch <clears throat> nice little walkabout. Look like some old compressors or something. Oh, got US government tags on the trailers. Yeah. This compressor's just rotten away. Two 20 foot containers. And this is cool. I think there's a barn for horses or something. Stable. This is for cattle, uh, for dehorning. They go in one way, you close in on the sides, and then you can dehorn them and do whatever else you want to do to them in a humane way. Here's another one of those things, too. I'm not sure which style came first or last, but it's cool. This is nice, huh? Everything's all locked up. Too bad there wasn't like a window you can for peeping. You know, some places do that. Even though it's all locked up, they give you a viewing window. How you like this saw? Those teeth about an inch. This is where the belt sits on. So there's another machine that has the motor on it, whether it's steam or whatever or, or fuel. I have a big old belt on there. I guess that's no trespassing. It has a cable there. I guess that's down. I don't know why, but I don't even know. Sorry. This is so cool. Even they got the lock, the <laughs> the outhouse locked up. <laughs> that's funny. No, we don't want to take your shit away. <laughs> oh. 
This is so cool. Oh, there's another one thing back there too. Let's go check that out. I didn't... There's another picnic table. Maybe I'll eat my my lunch on a picnic table, huh? I don't know they got electricity to it for some reason, but whatever. And they got the blinds now. Nice little picnic table. There's one on the other side too of this building. They got a whirly bird on the on that conk on that block one. Ah, check out that shit. That's a nice looking shit. Oh, they got AAC. Man. AC unit just hanging there. No, no things. Nothing to hold it up. They're just hanging. Ha. Oh, yeah, just hanging. <laughs> wow. The back door patio. What's in here? Hello. Can't see much. There's a refrigerator. Nice furniture. Uh, can't see though because of the the piano right here. Nice looking piano, huh? So you can see with my hand maybe. Kitchen in the dining room and heater. Hearth is electric. What's over here? Couches. More couches. Wow. Even got books and. Uh, ceramic ornaments. This is cool. Look. Nice little closing. So I guess we get mosquitoes at night, huh? Hmm, it's not zooming. Here we go, zooming. Guess we get a lot of mosquitoes. It's all closed up. Is this a well? A uh, hand pump well. Prison property. No hunting or trespassing. Prison property, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, alrighty. So I guess the inmates come and take care of it. They had one of these, so the handle isn't there no more. Maybe this is the handle. When I was hiking the Pacific Crest Trail at Brown Mountain, I think at Brown, or the one before Brown, someone was always stealing the handle so you couldn't get the water out. But when I got there, they had the handle there. It was kind of lopsided, but I got water. This is nice. This, that's cool, huh? This is absolutely gorgeous. What a way to live down here. Check out this tree. Man. The weird looking trees, huh? Look how... Huh. That's cool. Bet you this thing has seen some weather. It's probably why it's made like that to survive. That's cool. Prison property. I mean, that's a good laugh. All right. Uh -huh. What we got here? Tools. Shovels. Uh, maybe I don't want to stay here. They're going to come dig my grave tonight, huh? <laughs> and that thing is just built right into the... Into the... Um, side embankment. Now the wind just died. The whirly bird is not moving anymore. Imagine that. Huh. Weird. This is cool. This is a nice place. Well, I don't want to walk too much. Let me walk back. I don't want to. 
I don't like trampling all over people's things, but this is nice. All right, well, let me go and get the pizza going. And get going before the weather comes. I don't know if I want to stay. I was going to spend the night here, but I don't know where the weather comes. I don't know what that road is going to look like with the rain coming down on it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to get muddy quick and I got a lot of steep climbing to get out of here. Right, this is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, so the ranch is behind us over there and uh, we're just going to go down this road to where they take out the rafts for the from people river raft so we're just going to do that this is incredible views still debating whether to spend the night or not with that weather coming This is so cool. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. So apparently that's downriver. <laughs> and that's even going up river. Going north, I guess. It's going up river. Okay. And there's enough room down here where they pull out the rafts. Maybe we'll just spend the night here. It's already like four o'clock, so we can do that since we're here already. Keep an eye on the weather. The ranch over there. to climb that let's take some pictures this is gorgeous we'll never get down there at this rate <laughs> hey there's an old um, water wheel wow look at that wow that's incredible And 
there's some more um, relics up there too. We gotta check that. Let's check that out. So beautiful down here. What a way to live. Man, I thought I just saw a lightning flash when I was taking that picture. Oh, this is all modern stuff, shit, poles and when they were doing the ranch. Oh, there's some old stuff there. Some old plows. Some old plows. Not much to plow down here. The wagon, was that hay wagon? the plows. Huh. Not sure. Look at this. This is pretty cool. stuff here. Oh, I had to switch cards, storage cards. Yeah, there's more stuff here with the ranch, huh? Who's this for oh, under surveillance? What does this say? Oh, BLM. Surveillance or not. Nice though. Nice, nice historic area. This is cool. Huh, we got some antlers, huh? Check those animals. That's, that's what I wish. They had a, a board with information. There's more of the ranch. It was bigger than I thought. You wouldn't have known that from up there. The sign just says, Raft pull out a mile. There's more of the corral right here. Another corral. Did the houses very nicely, I must say. Yeah. They redid them very nicely. I see where the other road goes. The other road goes down through there. Ranch just closes in all the way down here. This property, huh? Oh, more ranch down here. Wow. Okay. Oh, a huge spread. Can we 
drive down from here? No. I don't want to No, there's cars down here though. I don't want to drive down there. Oh, picnic tables? I guess you could. Wow, there's a whole bunch of people down here. Huh. This is incredible. Oh, they got campers down here. And people Okay. I guess I'm not the only one. You wouldn't have thought that from back there. What does it say? Hawaii River Scenic Birch Creek. See, this is the, the right up. The right up. You wouldn't have known there was a campsite over here. So maybe I will spend the night then. Birch Creek to Leslie Creek. Alright, you guys can pause and, and read it. So we were here last yesterday, Birch Creek. So I mean, le this is Leslie Creek, Creek here. So we came all the way down here. I think when we the first was over here. This must be the road I took to get out of the, the road to get out of the canyon. The Fisherman's Road, I think that's the state park up there, up in here. So we came all the way down here, Leslie. Then we went all the way back down here. See the mahogany road we're, we're, take, we're trying to take? We only got on some of that. So there's a road. Oh, I guess there is a road to... To, um... Whatever it is. Um, maybe, no, maybe that's, that's something different. All right, Mahogany, we went all the way down here, and here's Birch Creek right here. This is where we are right now. So the ranch is here, so we had to come do a loop-de-loop -loop down here somewhere. That's, that's quite a bit of traveling, huh? And the airport is over here. I think the airport is over here. So to get on the other side... Oh, there's more camping down here, too. Ah, okay, to go around the corner, there's more camping. And this is a camping here, too. And to get on the other side, somewhere, there's more camping. Sweet. This is very nice. All right, well, I'm going to look for a spot, then. Look for a spot. There's other people down there. I'm just going to look for a spot, maybe right down there by the water, huh? That's cool. Yeah, this rain is going to fall and the lightning is, is started already. So, what we're going to say here, see how it had the Hawaii, how it became Hawaii? It's a colloquial usage of the word Hawaii. It was a, maybe a couple of videos ago. They had a white man exploration in 1812 going east, right? With the first group of white men, and then by 1818, uh, two Hawaiian natives accompanied them, and they came down. They separated from the main group, came south through these canyons, and was never seen again. Then the Birch Creek Ranch, uh, the North, I'm not Pate or whatever it is, and the Western Shoshone Indians families lived down here for hundreds of thousands of years and two ranches were built and 19 buildings on the property so we had the birch creek and the morrison ranch and in 88 blm bureau of land management purchased them but what they're saying is the blm does not usually purchase land but because it's on the uh where is it is on the national wild and scenic rivers act because here we go, wild and scenic river. Is it within that within that property? BLM can offer to buy land, so they bought the Birch Creek and Morrison, and and fixed them up, and they're now historic. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good that they do that, because they would have just probably been all dilapidated and 
nothing for us to see today. That's very nice. Yeah, I like this. River, know this. There is no hurry. We shall get there someday. That is exactly my mantra. Not to the word, but I have a mantra that I look at every day on my phone. And it's basically say the same damn thing. Awesome. All right, let's look for a campsite before we get before lightning comes. <laughs> See you there by the river. All right, get a quick video. It's raining. Got to camp here down on the Hawaii River. The Birch Creek Resort. Ranch. We got other campers around, which is cool. Who'd have known this place was out here? Because up there it doesn't tell you anything about campgrounds. All right, got down here in time. No cooking outside tonight, but I got a nice little picnic table down here by the river. I got Mr. Spidey here, I've got water. And yes, the thunder is crackling and the, the lightning is going on. And check out this now before before I, oh, you see it, you see the lightning. This is cool. Twice by the river. This is nice. I love river camping. It's the best. I love water. Born and raised on the water. This is so cool. They had another spot there, but there's more. But um. They didn't have a picnic table. They had more over cover with the branches, but I don't want the branches to come down on top of me tonight. So there we go, we're gonna get settled up. And um, see you guys in the morning. Got my pizza going. And got another one. Getting ready, got some cornbread. All right. Look at what we got, exactly what we got. Pouring down rain, hail. It's also hailing. And the ground is getting flooded. <laughs> it was what I was running away from, but I would never have made it back out of here in time for that. But oh well. We're here, we're here. The water is just puddling. Here's the river. All right, well, we're shut in for the night. No more outsideies. <laughs> All right. Good night. Good morning from Birch Creek Ranch. It's just a beautiful morning. It rained last night, hail, snowed, <laughs> everything. Lightning, thunder, my God, the whole heavens broke, broke loose. You see the white over there though, on the hillside. Yeah, that's the white stuff. All right, Libby is just warming up so we can get going. Off to new adventures. Met some people from Utah in that van over there. So apparently those vehicles are, they bring them down and then they have another one with them and they go back up to Rome so they can raft the river down and those people from Utah, Jim and Craig, maybe? They, they, uh, they have a group of people, two rafts. So they're going to raft from Rome to here. And it's going to take them five days. Holy shit. <laughs> it's, they said it's like 50 miles, so... 10 miles a day, I, I guess that's 
I guess I guess that's good. I don't know. I mean, I've raft on the Rogue, Rogue River and we did 14 miles in a day. But, you know, we were being tourists and piassing and having a good old time. So, yeah, I, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Libby's warming up. Before we got to drive five miles straight up through that ravine. That canyon. And being that it was shitty weather last night, it's going to be interesting. Let's not slip and slide. Huh, girl? No slippy slidey today. Yeah. All right. Well. Well, we'll keep you posted. <laughs> I'll show you what the road looks like up there. I'll show you that white stuff when we get back towards the ranch. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. There you go. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's probably hail anyways. I don't know if it's like actually snow, snow, but it hailed down here and maybe the hail just got plastered on the hillside. Either way, it's still white. All right, this is cool. Awesome view. Oh. Sweet Louise. <clears throat> the snow sure adds a different color to the scenery. only on this hillside like at where the storm the path of the direction of the, of the storm last night still patches of hail over there I'm sure it's just hail see there's some here on the road so you had the ice it's just yeah see it's just it's already hard I mean it's not like So we'll see where else it, it hailed, snowed, whatever you want to call it. It's still white, wet, and cold. <laughs> Actually, the weather this morning when I got up was, wasn't that bad. I just turned the heater on for a little bit just to take the chill out of the van, and, and that was it. And it's pretty moderate. I don't know. 60s, I guess. Oh, yeah, it really came through here. Look at that. It's, we got a lot more water, too. I don't feel like getting my baby 
about 30 this morning. Let's take our time. Scraping the cliffs, Levy. Got it. I would have moved it, but that means getting in my the entire shoes wet in that mud puddle. Bigger rocks in the road on the way out. Wow, what a big difference from yesterday coming down from here, huh? It's a good thing we did come yesterday. <coughs> we were nasty tracking all this shit in the van last night. I'm sure I'll be going up in second or first gear for five freaking miles. A little bit over there, not too bad. This is where we all like roamed last night, yesterday. All right. Bye bye, Birch Creek. Just mobbing our way back to 95, Highway 95. Ooh, look at that old chimney. Whoops, didn't notice it. <laughs> it's just not. But my goodness, look at the, look at the storm ahead, ahead of us. But it was no um, no hail or snow on top when we got out of that um, Birch Creek Canyon. It's just smooth sailing. Libby is doing well. Yeah, so just gonna mop to 95 and see where to go next. There's another road I'd like to do too from I think Rome Cliffs is next. Pillars of Rome. 
but I want to take the long way there. Uh, the one that we we're on, I think yesterday. So there's another road I think that bypasses Sucker Creek. Even if I have to go through Sucker Creek to get on that road again, I don't mind. But anyhow, we'll just say from Sucker Creek uh, to Leslie, Leslie Gulch, down through Birch Creek, uh, the crater, the Jordan Crater Road, and and then from there it goes down towards the Jordan Craters and continues to roll cliffs. The Pillows of Rome. So there's, there's the whole stretch north-south road. I like to do that. Because right now we've been just zigzagging to different places, you know? So I've been on a few roads uh, twice. Yep. Here's some campers or our, no, our beers, nope. Ranchers, ranchers with their horses. All right, so that's uh, yeah. So that was they were ranchers got their fifth wheel for livestock. I don't know what you want to call it. But there's some cattle out there. Maybe they're going to round them up or bring or bring more cattle there. I don't know. So yeah, I think that's going to be. I think the Pillars of Rome is the last on the honeydew list. For out here in Jordan Valley. Unless I see something else that perks my interest. So I think we'll just take the long way down. Start from uh, above Sucker Creek. come down that way just overland in man all right we'll see you on the next adventure